Hi, Hope Kids and Jam friends! Did you know that Ramadan began this past week? Ramadan is an important Islamic month of praying and fasting for all Muslims. We as Christians use this time to pray for Muslims because this is a time when Muslims are more sensitive about spiritual matters. Join me in praying for our Muslim brothers and sisters for the next 30 days. You will receive a prayer activity sheet each day. Ask your parents to check their emails. You can print out the sheets, read and do the activities and pray. Pray that God will give you the opportunity to talk about Jesus to a Muslim friend. Jesus traveled to many cities to teach about himself. He, Jesus taught with authority wherever he went. He healed many people and his disciples got to witness everything. Today we are going to learn to trust Jesus. He's all powerful. After a long, tiring day, Jesus told his disciples to cross the Sea of Galilee with him in a boat. The Sea of Galilee is a real place and it's still there. The Bible is in the book of made-up stories. It tells about things that really happened. Do you see the mountains by the sea? The cold air blowing down from these mountains can sometimes cause or start powerful storms. That's exactly what happened when Jesus and his disciples were in the boat. Several of Jesus' disciples were fishermen. They knew a lot about the sea. They would have known what to do in a storm, but this storm was a really bad one. It was also nighttime, so it was dark. The wind was blowing fiercely, and the bo boat started rocking and lurching with waves crashing over the side. The disciples thought they were going to die. The disciples were rowing and rowing and bailing and bailing out water. They looked around them, and they were so afraid. But not everyone in the boat was afraid. In fact, one person was sound asleep in the back of the boat. It was Jesus. Jesus wasn't afraid at all. The disciples woke him up and told him that they were going to die. They shouted, Save us, Lord! Don't you care if we die? You see, the disciples forgot to trust Jesus. They had been witnessing Jesus doing miracles. Why didn't they think that Jesus would save and rescue them? Jesus woke up and got up and said, Peace, be still. He was talking to the storm. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. God, Jesus, God who came to earth as a man has power over the wind and the waves. Jesus calmed the storm with only his words. The disciples were amazed. Even the wind and the waves obeyed his voice. The disciples saw God's power to save them. Some of them didn't understand that Jesus is God's son, so they were afraid. They wondered who this Jesus was. Some of the other disciples had been calling Jesus as just a teacher, but now they were starting to believe that Jesus is God overall. Jesus was in control the whole time, but the disciples let their fear get in the way of trusting Jesus. This happens to all of us. You know, one time I walked out to a parking lot and to where my car was supposed to be parked, only to find out that my car wasn't there. I was so afraid that it was stolen, my heart dropped, I was so scared, and I didn't know what to do. My help, my, while my friend was helping me call the police, I just started praying. I prayed that Jesus would, you know, somehow fix this situation, bring my car back, anything. I didn't know how Jesus would fix this situation, but he helped me calm my nerves and gave me peace in my heart, and I began to trust Jesus. Come to find out, my car thankfully wasn't stolen, but it was towed. Apparently, I parked in a spot that I wasn't supposed to, and I could have been angry at the people for towing my car or, you know, been hard on myself for making a silly mistake, but instead, I chose to be thankful to God that the, it could have been worse. My car could have been stolen, but it wasn't. I encourage you to trust Jesus the next time you are in a sick, scary situation or you're feeling fearful. Know that Jesus is almighty and powerful and he will rescue you because he cares for you.